Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is David Apple. I'm head of sales for Typeform. Uh, we're a startup based out of Barcelona that does online forms and surveys. And our vision is that asking questions online should be easy, human, and beautiful. So first of all, what's the scope of asking questions online? Everybody needs feedback from their stakeholders or their clients uh, for all aspects of their business, whether it's HR, events, sales, marketing, or for research. And there's a number of challenges that companies face when they try to get that feedback. One is low completion rates. The industry average is only 15%. They also get low quality of information because people try to just get through the form or the survey without actually taking the time to think through their answer and give a, a quality answer. And as a result, it's hard to draw conclusions from this data that you spent a lot of time and effort and, and money to gather. And this is the problem. Uh, surveys have not been, uh, there's been no innovation in this industry for the past decade. And uh, they all look the same. They're not interesting. They're not engaging. Uh, and nobody wants to fill them out on a desktop, let alone on mobile, where it's too small for us to, to even choose the right answer. So in summary, today's forms are boring, they're ugly, and they're not mobile friendly. But the good news is that we have the solution. Uh, we've designed a beautiful cross-device form and survey, uh, which on one hand allows you to make the form look and feel like your brand. So you can change the color, you can change the font, you can add pictures, you can add videos, uh, whatever you want to, to make it look good. And it's a lot more human because it asks one question at a time, which is a lot more like a human conversation rather than seeing a list of 20 questions that you don't feel like answering and you just skip it. And this is an industry where user experience uh, has dramatic effects on the results of your campaign. So with Typeform, you'll be able to have better user experience, which leads to better branding. You'll get a higher completion rate. Our average is 55%, which is over three times more the industry standard. Uh, so that means you'll, you'll collect more data. And because your respondents are more engaged, you'll be able to get better quality responses, which means you'll get more valuable data. And of course, I would say this because I'm doing sales for Typeform. But uh, we work with a lot of really big companies. Uh, and you'll recognize you know, Facebook, Airbnb, MailChimp. Uh, they're companies that are really focused on UI and UX. And uh, that's why they gravitate. We believe they're the early adapters because uh, that's their, their focus. Um, but eventually, we think that Typeform will be used by uh, any type of company for a lot of different things. And we have a few really good case studies to, to show that. Uh, this one is with Securitas. They have a form online to generate leads on their website. Before implementing Typeform, they only collected uh, the contact details for 5% of the people that uh, completed their form. When they switched to Typeform, it jumped to 42%. So with Typeform, they were, they were able to collect eight times more uh, leads and increase their sales by 50% with this campaign. Uh, so this is a great example for Securitas, but we also work with mortgage companies, real estate companies, any company that's looking to generate leads online will benefit from using a Typeform. Another good example is with Quartz, which is an online news company. They sent quite a long survey of 65 questions uh, they achieved a 55% completion rate, which they were really pleased about. In fact, they wrote an article about Typeform and about this survey. And beyond them being happy about it, their uh, respondents actually uh, loved it and tweeted, went to the point to tweet about it. So uh, I'll read the first one. Unlike most mobile surveys, which have infuriating UI, pacing, and editing, the Typeform one I just completed for Quartz was exemplary. So Quartz was really able to achieve the three main points, three main benefits that we, we hope to give our clients, which is um, to, sorry, I'm, I'm out of time, but that distracted me, uh, which is uh, that they, they get more data, uh, they get better quality data because their respondents are more engaged, and they improve their branding because their uh, respondents really like it and, and see them as a forward-thinking company. Uh, that's all the time I have for today, but please come by our booth. It's uh, just around the corner. Um, thank you very much. Hello, my name is Maximo Calvo, a co-founder of Carton Space Management. And in Carton, we're developing, this is not our presentation, we're developing our, our nanosatellite for the Earth observation. I'm pretty sure that every one of you have heard about big data. Big data, everybody speaks about big data, but where is the biggest data set in the world? 
the Earth. And how can we get this data out using satellite imagery? But satellite imagery is expensive and sometimes difficult to get. Because of that, we need a solution. And it was one day during a conference of the former Spanish astronaut, Pedro Duque, where we discovered the solution. And I'm talking about nanosatellites. Nanosatellites can get images with the same resolution that the Big Brothers, but in a cheaper way because it's a small size. So forget about big satellites and say hello to the future. Say hello to nanosatellites. It's the same situation that we have lived before with computers. At the beginning, they were big and expensive. And right now, every one of us has a powerful device on his pocket. And the Forbes magazine has detected the same pattern of growth in the space industry that in the computer industry. And this is what we want to develop we want to create. And our goal is not create new technology. Our goal is create new markets and new opportunities. And that's what I'm talking about. This is one of our services. This is LineWatcher. We use satellite imagery to detect problems along linear infrastructures. We can detect problematic vegetation in, uh, along the power lines corridors and also subsidence problems in roads and railways. And this method is quicker and half price than the traditional ones. But the 70% of the, our final cost is only satellite imagery. But if we have nanosatellite, our own nanosatellite, we can reduce it to 25%. And can you imagine what can we do in a 400 billion euros market? It's massive. <laughs> and how big is the imagery market? As you can see, it's growing faster there, but okay, <laughs> it's growing faster, and it's going to raise uh, five million dollars in five thousand million dollars in the next years. And our competitors right now are the traditional companies that control the market. These two companies has right now is the same, and these are the new participants. Skybox has been acquired recently by Google. But we want to offer more competitive services uh, also an, and be an alternative to traditional providers. We want to open new markets. And this is the serious thing that is behind Carton. Every one of us holds a master degree in remote sensing and GIS. And if we get the funding, we are going to hire 20 new, uh, 20 new team members for our team. Those are uh, some of our partners, the Spanish National Institute of Aerospatial Techniques and Satellite Catapults from the United Kingdom. But also there is the University Rey Juan Carlos and Vivero Mostoles that yesterday added to our partners. And the ESA and Gas Natural Fenosa, one of the powerful uh, electric companies in Spain, has been interested in our services and we are in conversations with them. We have also win some prizes, and, but we cannot live from prices, so, but it's amazing. <laughs> so we are looking for clients, partners, and smart funding. We are looking for one million euros to make real our idea. So if you think that the sky is not the limit and you want to reach the space, contact me, please. Thank you. Hello everyone, so I'm Pierre Soula and uh, I'm going to present a project of Robdos, the under glide, underwater glider. So I wanted to um, tell you about the problems we're solving. Uh, we're exploring oceans, basically. We know that oceans occupy more than 70% of uh, Earth's superficie. It's more than 37 times the USA superficie. And it's very deep in most of, uh, of the case, up to 11,000 meters deep. And it's very difficult to access, for instance, if you're in the middle of the Pacific. However, we know that the, the, it's a very complicated environment. However, many people need to work with this environment. For instance, scientists that need to understand, for instance, for the global warming, or militaries for, for during wars, or um, oil and gas companies to perform, uh, with, uh, to, to, to perform operations, offshore operations. And uh, so far, the solution that we have is using a boat, a crew, 
a lot of time and a lot of resources. It costs a lot, and the logistic is very, very complicated. So what we came up with is a small unmanned submarine, which is up to 1.5 meters long, and it can dive up to three or 4,000 meters deep, and uh, it can stay underwater during months, acquire uh, data, and then, um, and then uh, communicate information through satellites. And the idea is that it's gliding in the ocean like a plane. The good thing is uh, it can be adapted to any kind of use. We just need to adapt the payload. It's very, very discreet. For military operation, this is a very, very good point. And uh, it's very easy to use, easy to maintain. Instead of having a crew of 20 people, you have just one operator on, on, uh, on hers. And uh, it's an unmanned system which, is, which can uh, afford to lose the platform, for instance, for military operation. What are competitive advantages? First, uh, cost reduction compared to competi competitors. Then, some innovations that I will uh, enter in detail afterwards. We want to have a better uh, maintenance offers than our competitors, and we want to adapt the payload to new sectors. So what can we do with this kind of platform? Uh, as I said, uh, so far it's used for, by, by scientists to understand the environment, the currents, water currents, the evolution of water temperatures. But it can be used for military operations, for instance, as a support for a ship to increase the range of operation or to survey a coastal area, for instance, to detect other submarines that can be around, uh, around the, the area or for governments also. Another uh, usage model that we can think is that if you want to build a wind farm, uh, you need to characterize the area before to know how is the ocean floors, the currents, how it's working. So uh, thanks to solution, you could do this kind of, uh, of work at a, a far lower cost. Uh, so what about the market? First, uh, the current market is the oceanographic market, but we want to expand to the military market, as I said, and to the oil and gas market, where uh, the potential is, is very, very huge. The UUV market is 2.3 billion euros per year, which uh, gives, up, gives us a lot of space. The innovation I was talking before. A new hydrodynamic profile with uh, a new system to facilitate uh, drop-off and uh, recovery of uh, the platform. A new security system to increase uh, the security and not lose the platform as it's the case on the market. New payloads and also uh, production with a 3D printer to reduce cost of production. Where are we with our project so far? We've developed three prototypes, and we're doing a, a fourth one that will be able to, to operate in rail conditions in, uh, overseas. And uh, we expect to do that, uh, to do the, the test with this new, with this new prototype during, prototype, sorry, during uh, the next year. About uh, financing, we're looking up to a little bit more than 200,000 euros of, uh, uh, of um, funding. And uh, we want to mix that with also they can in Canarias, where we have the company, or with the Neotech program to reduce the required inversion. I wanted also to comment that we're doing other projects with other unmanned platforms, which are very close to what we do. Uh, USV, for instance, and UAV. For instance, a few photos. We participated in the uh, NATO contest uh, last two weeks, uh, where we won the prize. And uh, it was very interesting. The team, uh, my partner and I, and some partnership we have uh, to develop the, the company. So if you have any question, or, thank you. A very and a huge market that is, uh, that is the big events. And let's continue to talking about the big issue that happens in these events. Often the spectators don't know what is happening on these events. They have a lack of information. So they are living uh, a fragmented experience. To cover this inside, to cover this uh, need, we have de designed it. a portable device to cover this, to cover the need, this need, and provide information in real time of what is happening on the event through a very economical portable light and one-way use device. The flow of use of the spectator is easy. He has to buy just by online or in the van, just open and turn it up, enjoy it. And one time the van finishes, he can bring it at home as souvenir of the van or just put it on our bins for recycling. How the market is providing solution to this insight? 
only with video walls. But video walls represent a high cost to promoters and has a low coverage for spectators. Also, there is a complex and expensive device that is covering only NASCAR in, uh, in USA, but is focused for the um, teams or heavy users. And why we are using TV uh, technology? Because mobile, mobile technology doesn't work. Because the width of the band and also the streaming that uh, provokes delays uh, from 60 seconds, and also because the batteries of our, our smartphones. <laughs> our business model is with the sales of the device starting at 15 euros, and also the sales of advertisement on, on packaging and sponsorship of the package. And why the promoters are saying us yes. Because we are offering added value to the band, we are we present we represent a high capacity to increase spectators to the band. Also, because we are offering new incomes through our revenue share, and also offering the grid, uh, part of the grid of this advertisement, and also because we offer innovation. The core of the founders are expert on communication and a passionate uh, engineer and a marketing and management of teams background. Also, we are proud to catch on this uh, startup environment the best of the best of Spain. We have in the company Audal Domenech, Jorge Laceras, Carlos Blanco, Xavier Bardagué, Uriol Juncosa, and, Fernandez, and Hugo Fernandez. We, uh, we appear on this startup em environment on um, May this year, and we have received many awards. And we are here looking for this round, about 400,000 uh, euros, and mainly for the technical project and homologations. And our vision is becoming the leader company in the out of home uh, retransmission through portable devices and or APP for spectators on being events. APP, of course, when the technology of the mobile is solved. Thank you very much.